This is another version of the Alien Bug Hat. We'll call it Alien Bug Hat 2. A little different than the other. We've got two, two 60s. I've got a fashion blue and a fashion green, each with about a four inch tail. I've got a fashion white that I've blown up about halfway. We're not even going to use all of that. Fashion Fuchsia 160 that I've blown up again about halfway, and we're only going to use a little bit of this. And then a yellow 5 inch round that I've blown up to about 2 inches. And we're going to start with our two longer 260s, a green and a blue. And what we we'll do with these is we're going to start by tying the two ends together. Now we're going to take and make a couple of fold twists, about three inch fold twists. If you want to make sure you get them even, you can always take, lay them alongside and twist you about a three or four inch bubble there and then just bring those up together. And that way they're always the same size. Now it doesn't matter which one of these you use, but pick one of them. And I'm going to make the bottom jaw, so I'm going to grab the green. Make another fold to it, slightly smaller than the other two, just like that. Now I'm going to take, to secure everything in place, my yellow. Put it right in the middle and twist it around everything to lock it all in, just like that. Now we're going to take our white, what you want to do with it. I'm going to start at the nozzle end, and I'm going to make a little small bubble. I'm going to make that into a pinch twist. And I'm going to make another pinch twist right after it. Twist those together. So we've got a double pinch twist there. Now I'm going to take and make about a two inch bubble. I'm going to twist that into this here. So it locks it all in with the two fold twists and the nose thing. And then I'm going to make another bubble the same size as that one. And I'm going to twist back into those double pinch twists that I had on top there. Take this excess off. And then just secure that loose end. Just like that. And that's going to be the face of our hat there. Now what you'll do is you'll take these here and measure your child's head. I'm just going to simulate a child here. Twist them together the back of the head. And then since I used the green for the mouth and had an extra twist for it, I'm going to use the blue back here. Make about a three-quarter to one inch of a pretty good size one. And make that into a pinch twist at the back. And that'll force those antennas in the back to stand up like that. And again, I like putting a little bubbles on the end. Just like that. Makes an extra cute. That. And then I'll take these and sort of curve them forward a little bit so they're kind of hanging over the person's head. And that's the basis of the hat. Now we're going to take our 160. And I don't need all of this. I want to make some antennas. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, come down close to the inflated part. And I'm going to twist off about an inch and a half to two inch bubble. And I'm going to come behind that and just take everything else off. But you want to make sure that you've got enough there to tie it. Just like that. Now, what you want to do, I'll pop that in a little bit and see if I can force some air up to the. Right, I'm just going to have to do it. Pardon me while I suck the bubble there. Just like that. There we go. So you want two bubbles there. Find the middle of that. And then bring that into those two pinch twists on top of the eyes. So that now you've got two little antennas sticking up there on top. Put some eyeballs on there. And there you have it. Alien Caterpillar Hat 2.